And for fun, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how fast it transfers files on my current NAS drive, which is a slower Atom-based NAS with an ethernet connection. So that's gonna take 20 minutes. Oh, 25 minutes. It's a bit all over the place. All right, in this guide, I wanted to compare the difference between SHR2 and RAID 6. Now, I've been using SHR2 for the last two years and it's been painfully slow. So what I'm gonna do now is, since I've migrated all my data over to a faster Thunderbolt 3 QNAP drive, I'm gonna be removing my SHR2 and then creating a new RAID 6 and comparing the performance differences. Now there's no way to migrate automatically from SHR2 to RAID 6. Once you set up SHR or RAID 5, you're locked in on that process. So I recommend you picking the right one. There are benefits in using SHR. You can use different size disks, but let's find out if those benefits come out a huge cost in performance. I'm gonna remove this volume. You gotta type in your password my data I'm saying goodbye to it but don't worry I've backed all this 19 terabytes of data onto my new NAS drive and I gotta say that new NAS drive is working stupendously fast even on Wi-Fi all right how long is it gonna take to remove the raid there you go the volume is removed so I'm gonna hit on create you don't want to select quick because that will create an SHR you want to click on custom and single volume on raid create six single volume that's the best access performance that's the one you want to pick. Let's do all these drives. All data on newly added hard disk will be erased. Yep. So I'm going to go for a RAID 6 BTR FS. And that's it, RAID 6. Apply. There you go. The RAID is now set up. It was very quick and it's doing an apparent consistency test in the background. While that's doing that, I'm going to control panel and set up a shared folder. So I'm maximizing the speeds of Ethernet. Previously, when I was SHR2, I would never get such a consistent write speed, especially while it's doing a parity check. So already, RAID 6 seems a lot faster than SHR2. All right, so I've got a folder here. It's 35 gigabytes, and I've got two NAS units here. I've got a QNAP one, and I've got a Synology one. First, let's see how long it takes transferring over 35 gigabytes to a Synology RAID 6. Five and a half minutos. All right, let's see how fast it copies over to a QNAP over Thunderbolt 3. Two minutes and 11 seconds. That's more than twice as fast. All right, next up, let's see file listing speeds. So I'm gonna go inside and see how long it takes to generate a thumbnail. 26 secondios. Over in QNAP. Nineteen secondios. What does this mean? Hmm. Well, all I can say is SHR2 with an encrypted volume it is humongously slow. Twenty-five minutes to transfer over thirty-five gigabytes. It's insane. Now, unfortunately, I didn't do a test with RAID 6 encrypted. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. But RAID 6 unencrypted was around five and a half minutes. However, RAID 6 encrypted on QNAP was two minutes and ten seconds. It's encrypted and these are both RAID 6 doing their data scrubbing on the side. So definitely, I suggest, if you can, don't use SHR2 if you don't need those extra features. I don't need those features. They pretty much really slow down the system, especially if you can use an encrypted volume because you need more processing power on the NAS drive. 